Hello, my fellow gamers, UltraGamer64 here, and today I am back with another episode of Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. In the last episode, we defeated Phalanx, the giant dragon that sort of resembles Rayquaza in a certain way. But now, guys, we only have three more Colossi to beat until it is the end of the game. That is crazy. It feels like we just started this game. But don't worry, I got another Let's Play lined up that's going to be freaking awesome. And it th this Let's Play that I have planned is definitely going to last longer than Shadow of the Colossus. So, um, I'm sure that we will have a crap ton of fun in the next Let's Play, but we will definitely never forget Shadow of the Colossus because there have been a lot of an influential things and very cool things that have happened in the back or in the background and behind the scenes that have happened during this series that have influenced my channel like literally forever um so just because of those this let's play is one of the best if not the best let's play I have done so far um hopefully um my other projects and my other let's plays that I cut that I make later on will trump this one and make it like obsolete I'm hoping that with each Let's Play, somehow, in some aesthetic or some way, I can become a better YouTuber and Let's Player. Um, basically, the things that I've improved during this Let's Play, as this Let's Play has been going on. Um, I got the Razor Krakens, and they have been a great mic. I love this mic, and it seems like this is the best quality that I can get for my money right now that I can afford. Um... I recently figured out how to use OBS and um, record my capture card without the standard um, recorder that came with the capture card. So now I can record games in almost full screen and 720p. I mean, that's awesome. That's great. Um, other than that, the game is almost full screen. It's as big as I can make it. Um, the black bars still have to be on the sides. I tried to get rid of those. But I couldn't, so... Oh, well, that's something we might have to deal with. I don't think I'm going the right way. But, um... Yeah, this this Let's Play has been extremely influential. And it has pretty much paved the way for um, future Let's Plays to come. So, this Let's Play will never be forgotten. Ever. Um, still one of the most important... Sup, Bassaran? I don't think this is the right way we gotta go, though. But, um, yeah, guys, this Let's Play can never be forgotten. It will it will never be forgotten. Um, definitely one of the most important Let's Plays, if not the most important. Besides, like, um, Plants vs. Zombies, that was my first ever Let's Play. And it kind of paved the way for my recording style and my commentary style and everything like that. Um, the way I do things... And the way I play the games and all that kind of stuff. So definitely this um, Let's Play and Plants vs. Zombies has definitely um, paved the way for this channel. But anyways, um, I haven't even told you guys who we're fighting yet. We're fighting um, Celosia or Zenobia, whichever one it is. I don't know. I guess we had to go through Bassaran's arena. Um, we saw him. He was dead. He was all like rocked rocked up he was like all rocky and frozen in time i guess from us beating him so now we've got to make our way to zenobia slash zenobia Celosia slash zenobia i still haven't got their names figured out i can't remember which one is which they're both twins so yeah <laughs> both twins and i can't remember their names I don't think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I'm definitely not going the right way. Where is this? Where am I right now? Maybe I am going the right way and I just don't realize it. That's what happened last time. And I turned around and it turned out I was going the right way. So I'm going to trust my gut and continue to go this way. No, this is the way to Dirge, isn't it? I think it is. We might see two different Colossus in this video. Well, I guess technically three. Oh, no, it's not the way to Dirch. Well, you know what? Aggro is not used in this fight, so maybe this is the way. 
Just gotta swim. Just gotta swim, guys. Swimmy, 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 swimmy. Wow, look at how gorgeous that looks. Look at the lighting effect. Yeah, this is definitely the way. Um, gotta get up there. Come on. There you go, Wander. Yeah, I think this is the way, because it's kind of like a city-slash-temple area that's concealed. So, maybe this is the way. Yep, it is. Alright, cool. I went the right way. Yay! Oh, yeah. That's it. Guys, just take a second to look at that. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I like how the game didn't show the Colossus, even though he's supposed to be right there. But yeah, look at this giant, like, area that we get to fight this guy in. Like, this area is definitely one of the most complex and, like, beautiful in the game. I don't think I was supposed to come from here, though. I'm pretty... Oh, yeah, I was. I remember now. Oh, yeah. I remember this. Now, this Colossus is one of the smallest as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it's tied with, um, the tiger. I can't... I I don't remember what part, um, the Colossus with features it was featured in. I think it was the 11th, um, part of the Let's Play, if I remember correctly. But, um, this guy is pretty much a tie for the other tiger slash lion thing. I think this is a lion and the other one was a tiger. So, yeah, that's great. Um, once he starts running at you, run like heck! Because he will hurt you. He will continue to slam into you and knock you around until you are dead. He will not give you a chance to get up, no matter what. So, this boss is extremely tricky. Like, extremely, extremely tricky. Um, you cannot fight him head on. There's no possible way you can fight him just head on, knock his armor off, and beat him, you know? This boss takes a lot of prep and takes a lot of maneuvering. So basically what you want to do, um, just keep climbing. Like, just find things to climb on and climb them. You want to make your way back to that um, temple that you started in. And you're going to get in there and basically use it to knock his armor off in a way. You guys will see once we do it. That's cool how you can still control Wander when that thing's falling. But, um, don't get knocked off. I mean, there are these pillars that, um, you could use as kind of checkpoints to get back up to where you were. But eventually, I don't think that those will help you, um, in a way. Like, they'll still be there, but it's kind of, it's difficult to explain. But just keep on climbing these different pillars and just climbing the... Um, over bridges, over those gaps and everything. Oh, God! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> what the heck happened? He, like, glitched and he fell all the way back and then he just grabbed it. So, yeah, you want to piss this Colossus off. Have him pretty much wreck everything in this temple area. Now, if you're cool, then sometimes you can, like, kind of do an epic, amazing jump and kind of jump as the thing is falling. Um, that's always cool to do. But normally, just hang on to the pillars and let it fall, and you should be fine. There should be no reason why you fall off of these unless, like, you make a dumb mistake like I might, or the Colossus knocks you off, or something like that, you know? There we go. Alright. That's falling onto this pillar. See, normally you can do something like that, but it didn't work. Oh, God. Oh, no. Wander. Get back up. Get back up. Where is he? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Get up. There you go. Alright, we're safe. We're alive. I don't know what happened to Wander there. There was one time, though, like, Wander literally pretty much got crushed. And he was alive when I was playing this game. It was kind of funny. It was weird. Alright. Oh, gosh. Are we falling? Nope. Not yet. See, like, he'll always hit it once, but then you gotta make him mad and have him hit the pillar again. It'll never fall just on the first time. It'll always fall on the second time. 
but you need to kind of coax him into hitting it the second time because I think he gets it like, oh, this is going to help him progress. And then, like, you got to piss him off and make him think like, oh, he's hitting me? Fine, I'll hit the pillar. I'll kill him. <laughs> I love how I'm making up what the uh, Colossus is thinking. I totally know what a Colossus is thinking. Aggro, I need you! <laughs> All right, there we go. We're very close to the end. We need to make it in there where that wall is over there. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well, guys. Oh. We just take a second to realize how resilient and, like, pain-absorbing Wander is. <laughs> like, he can take some punishment. Wander can definitely take some punishment. All right, so what do you want to, what you want to do now is when you're at this pillar, this big giant temple looking thing. Um you want to get up onto this platform right there and then just may oh goodness, don't fall. That's not what you want to do. Make a leap of faith onto this final final pillar. <laughs> oh gosh. No, why am I almost falling all the time? I don't get it. Make your way onto this final pillar. No, please stay. Bam. Bam. And there you go. Oh, goodness. That's not good. Alright, I'm up on something safe, so we're good. I like how you can control Wander during the cutscenes. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, this part is decently difficult. Um, when he's on that side, you're pretty much golden. You can just run and get to this ladder. If he's on the other side of the platform, um, you want to hurry up. And you're going to try and avoid him at all costs. Because if he catches you in here, he will kill you. There's no doubt. So now what you want to do, you want to be extremely daring here. Um, you're going to... Um, this is difficult. This is hard to explain. Um, you want to be at the edge of this platform... But you don't want to stay there. Like, all right. So, edu oh goodness, it's happening already. Oh no, we're probably gonna die. Oh, we're pro oh yeah, we're dead. We are totally dead. Oh, we're not dead. <laughs> we're literally just standing right there. Okay, that'll work. And as you can see, that platform that crushed the Colossus knocked off its armor and. Now I need to figure out... What the heck was that? <laughs> oh god! No. Oh Jesus. Uh, that was scary. Okay. Get up here just so we're safe. Um, What you want to do... Well, what you want to do now that his armor's off... Get him to ram into one of these. What happened to him? Okay, I guess he hit something. But when he ends up running into something or hitting something, he will get knocked out for a short period of time. That's when you want to jump on him and you will be able to stab him. Um, there is no way that you will be able to stab him when he is just running around like that crazy. Because he's too small and you don't have enough room to stay on him and you don't have enough time to stab him and it's this whole process. See, like there I messed up and there's no way that I can hit him. So, I just kind of... Kind of get up, get back up here and try again, you know? Okay, if I could stop falling, that would be nice. Bam! There we go, just give him a nice love tap. Maybe you can get in two. Yeah, it looks like you can get in two before he starts moving a crap ton again. But this guy is very hyperactive! And very deadly. This Colossus is probably one of the most angered Colossi in the game. Why did I push the jump button? Oh, God. What the heck? Oh. Um. That was weird. My game seems to be glitching a little bit. There we go. Do a jump stab. That'll work. But yeah, as you can see, this guy is not that hard. Like, if it's your first time playing this like it was me um, many years ago... You will have some trouble figuring out what to do with this boss. Like, it takes so long to figure out what to do. Because there's so much, like, stuff you have to have him knock over. And there's so many places that you have to get to. 
And it's a very long process, I will admit. Let's see if I can just kill him. Or is he gonna move too much? I don't wanna have to jump off and get back up onto that pillar. Yeah, I probably will. Oh, no! Oh, yeah, I will. I'm gonna have to get back up onto the pillar. Yeah, be very careful when you're just running like this, because he can kill you easily. If he starts to hit you and knock you around and everything. So be extremely careful. Darn it, Wander, keep your footing. You kept your footing through worse. And bam! He is done. There he goes, guys. One of the smallest colossi is dead. See you, buddy. You were a nice kitty. Moment of silence for the dead kitty. And there we go. There is the 14th Colossus defeated. We only got two more, guys. Save. Yes, I would. I would love to save right now. Trying to worship. 13 defeated. Save. Yes. Overwrite. Of course. And apparently we have spent 3 hours and 36 minutes on this game. Cool. Now 53 minutes. I wonder if I go back and, like, check the recording times of the videos if they add up to 3 hours and 53 minutes. Ooh, I should do that. I should check. I think I will. I think I'm going to check that. See if it adds up. See if the game is telling me the truth or not. There we go. There is another... Um... Crap, what is it? <laughs> Colossus statue crumbled. We have so many shadows around us, though. Well, we did. <laughs> Until the game decided to make me look like an idiot. That next bow is... A giant has fallen into the valley. It acts as a sentry to a destroyed city. Yep, this Colossus is going to take some work, guys. Yeah, this next Colossus is slightly annoying, but he's really, really cool. Um, the next Colossus we got to fight is Argus. Um, I'll give you guys a quick look at um, Wander's face, because it should be decently changed now. It should be, like, very different. See if it'll turn around. Come on, Wander. Can we get the camera to line up with your face? Yeah, look at him. He is looking, like, really bad. He's got, like, cuts. He's all, like... He looks demonic and evil. In a way. His hair is, like, a purplish black, gray kind of thing. He's not looking so good. Wander is changing in... It, Wander's changing. Let's just say that. He's definitely changing. There's Mono. Still. Still dead. Sorry, Mono. You'll be saved soon, I promise. But, anyway, guys. I think this is where we're going to have to leave this episode off at. If you guys enjoyed it, then please be sure to leave a giant like. And remember to keep on gaming. Stay amazing. And I will see you guys next time.